Thanksgiving is just a few weeks away and what a perfect time of year to count your blessings. Being grateful and looking for the good in life can have a positive impact on both your mental and physical health. Think the cards you've been dealt are just too hard to overcome? A Lake Charles woman is proof the way you look at things could make all the difference in living your best life. It was in July of 2021. Um, I felt a little mass. Liz Chesson says at first she didn't think much of it. Just being my age and no family history. But after having a mammogram and a biopsy, it turned out Liz had an aggressive form of breast cancer and the treatment was going to be aggressive as well. It was hard because I'm one of those really, I, I get up and go, get up and do. Life as she knew it was about to take a pause, but right from the beginning, Liz was determined to set the right tone. You know, a lot of people plan the party at the end of your fight, where for me, it was, I want to party on the front end because I wanted to celebrate life. So she rented a venue and brought together the people that she loves. The people she knew were going to be her support team in her battle against cancer. And it was called uh, Wine and Wigs. It really was a positive start to my fight. Liz says then it was time to get down to work. She started by looking at her cancer battle as a job, not one anybody wants, but one she was willing to take on. That really was my motto the whole time going through cancer is why not me? Because one in eight women are going to be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. And why not me? So I just took it full force, ran with it. It was a battle that would take two and a half years to complete. Ringing the bell was a, it was a very special moment um, because it was signified that I did my job and I did what I came to do and I finished. I finished. And she says, witness miracles along the way. My father-in-law passed away in October of 21. The day he was buried was the day that I found out through a PET scan that all my cancer was gone after my last treatment. I felt like he just went to heaven and, and he was like, this one, this one's supposed to win. And I did. In August of this year, Liz would also lose her mother to an illness similar to ALS. You know, a lot of people I think would still turn to that why me, why us? And I think that when you just look at it from the other side of, you know, glass half empty or is it half full, you really find a lot of purpose in which way you're going to turn with your attitude. During her treatment and recovery time, Liz discovered her passion for fashion. She now co-owns a boutique, helping women look and feel their best. Oh, it brings us so much joy. I would say this is the best my life has ever been. Liz also talked about the PTSD a lot of cancer survivors go through, always having that thought in the back of your mind that cancer could come back. She says she deals with it by looking for inspirational quotes every day and sharing them with others. She also talks to people who have recently been diagnosed with cancer to let them know they are not alone and encourage them to face the battle head on.